Hi everyone, welcome back to FA channel. We want to create this channel to explore and celebrate our technology and creativity. I hope you're having a relaxing holidays. Because of lockdown, so lately we, I've been going to VR chat a lot, exploring what's happening in the virtual world. As I'm trying to explore and enjoy some worlds on VR chat, I was thinking, I'm sure many of you have heard the news about Poly gonna shut down by Google forever from next year, I think April. That's a sad news for a lot of people. So at this point, we don't really know what's gonna happen exactly. But as I was like exploring in this VR chat world, I was thinking, what if when we still can use Poly, we can create a world or use our previous artwork on to with toothbrush, upload into VR chat. So you can share the link or um, share with your friends or just go enjoy, experience the world that you create on VR chat. That could be very fun. So for those of you who doesn't know how, we, we try to figure out and make this video for you guys. So hopefully this can be useful for some of you already create amazing world on to, with toothbrush. If you are new user, because to be able to publish your world on VR chat, you have you can't be visitor, you need friends. Um, please let me know. I'll add you on VR chat so we can be friends on VR chat. So it will be easier for you guys to create worlds on VR chat. In this tutorial, I will use one of my previous work to explain how this is all works. So I'm in toothbrush right now. Uh, all you need to do is save the project, upload to Poly. You save. And then upload to your Poly account. And then see uploading. And then exit to brush to finish publishing. Then you go to this page. You will see your your new painting. New to brush work. And then publish. Oh title. <laughs> Dream in blue. Right? Publish. And then you start on your desktop, start Unity. This Unity software have to be VR chat supported version like this. And when it's opened, once it opened, you go to Unity Assets Store, import Poly Toolkit. When you import the Poly Toolkit, most of the time some error shows up. Don't worry about it. Just go to player setting. and then allow unsafe code. As soon as it's allowed, Poly Toolkit will start to run on itself. And then from this menu, you need to log into your account, sign in. You will see this bar show up on show menu switch featured to your uploads then all of your uploaded world will show up click on the one that you want to import and import your project this project will show up inside poly folder assets Drop the assets to hierarchy. At this point, you have to import VRChat SDK2, which you can download from the VRChat website. Then you have to do some settings for the VRC world prefab, prefab to set up a couple world settings, such as uh, spawn point, 
where you want to start when you enter the VR chat world. Then you need also, and then you also need the collider to make sure you have this stand point, like the surface to stand in this world. Once you, once you adjust the spawn point on Collider, you can click VRChat SDK, log into your account again, click Builder, and then at this point, some error will show up again. VRChat usually will do some autofix. After some process and autofix, then you're ready to upload. Uh, I, ju I just want to make sure this is the most simple way we can do. We, using this video to help you figure out how to do it. If you want the world to be more uh, fancy or you want to put more lighting, all these things, you have to do more adjustment, of course. If you have any question, don't hesitate to ask us. We're always here for you. Um, but in this video, I'm not going to talk about too much details. Once you upload all this, everything once you upload everything, you can check with your headset and depends on what kind of world you want to bring, what kind of emotions you want to give. Um, you need to come back and then do more adjustment. Maybe you want to put some music or you want to the light to be more bright or dim. Uh, it's completely up to you. One thing is it doesn't really matter what you do. When you re-upload the world, it will automatically overwrite, which is great. And for this whole, so far we've talked about all these settings and how you do it is for the PC VR version. If you want to do it for Quest version, you just need to change the building, change the build setting to Android. Um, just keep in mind, some features doesn't really work on the quest version for example like reflections stuff like that poly project so when we do the uh toothbrush and the poly project usually contains a lot of unsupported shader um, but even it's um, unsupported sometimes most of the time actually it works anyway so all you need to do is just really try it and see which one works and go Go to the world and ex experience on your own and figure out wh which one works. And if you don't have the quest, like you really have to think about this. Yeah. Now you can just go check the world status on your VR chat page. So as a new user on VRChat, you can't really make the world public, but you can make instant to share with your friends or you can uh, post on some kind of group for anyone to come. When they click on the link you share, they can still enter your world. I find this is really helpful for most of the creators who have done so much great work and want people to see their toothbrush work before it shut down. Okay worlds go to the end mine the world will be here let's go so as long as you upload it to vr chat it will be on under mine in the world yay i'm here wow it feels different to look at it in VR cool <laughs> we'll put the link in our description and if you're interested please come check my world and share your world with me too we we'll also make this try to make it fun to <laughs> you can fall from here <laughs> Wow! <laughs> 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 <laughs>
but I can't see my face. Oh, I'm like swimming in ocean right now. Come back. If I use a smaller, I'll show you the view. If I use a smaller avatar, this one. Let me fall. Okay, let's go. Ah, I like this view. <sighs> it's become like a bubble. Okay, cool. So that's basically the process we had there. We try to find the easiest way to make this video simple, as simple as we can, to be able to make the world, of course, every every single world is different. Every tube brought work is different when you upload into, into the VR chat. So if there's any questions, please don't hesitate to ask us or join our Discord group or comment on our YouTube video. We hope we can use this channel to help a lot of artists and learn from you guys as well. As for the poly situation, we searched online and there's a poly petition that you can sign and try to stop Google shut down poly forever. So it's called open source poly. We'll put the link on our description. If you have time, please sign the petition. We really hope this is gonna help um, either Google gonna find another way to keep poly or somehow we can have alternative options to keep all the work we've done. Yeah, that's it for today's video and thanks for watching. Please subscribe our channel for future contents. We really hope to be here, help and discuss and explore different topics to keep ourselves being creative being inspiring for each other. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.